Welcome to our lady, our lady space. space. So we can talk about it. We can talk about it. What are we talking about, friend? Today we're just gonna do a show and tell. So um, we're gonna show you some things and tell your story, or something like that. The first item is something from my childhood. Um, I don't have a lot of things from my childhood because we had a fire and everything was lost. But when my grandmother passed and going through her items, I was able to find this picture, which is a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I made back in 1989, which seems forever ago. And so I started putting it up um, during the Christmas time with all our Christmas decorations and things like that. And also to just show a little homage to my grandmother. So that's something from my childhood. Also, um, I'm also going to share something that I collect. Um, as you all know from my birthday video that I collect rocks, so I'm not going to share that one. So another thing I guess you'll say collect, I don't know if it's considered collect or not, but I have this box mm -hmm. of money. And so it started out with me um, collecting or keeping all of my $5 bills. And I do this every year. And normally I add it up and spend it during my girl's trip. But I haven't been on one in a while. So I haven't done that. But I did use it a couple of years ago to pay for my wedding dress. Hmm. But um, yeah, now... It does add up. I think the most I've ever collected was like $800. Oh, wow. And so um, I haven't added it up in a while. And some of it is balled up. So you really can't tell how much money is in here. Mm -hmm. But now I do fives, ones, tens, and twenties. Okay. So um, I said I'm not going to cash it in and collect it until I turn 45. So we'll see how much adds up. Okay. Oh, well. That'll be a total of six years. Of wow. Collecting. We'll definitely talk about that on the podcast. Okay, because I'm going to be spending that money on something <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something I collect. The next okay. thing I'm going to do is something that kind of shows and reflects my personality. So for this particular item, I chose this candle, which... Okay. Happens to be another birthday thing. But as you can see, it's a purple candle. And I chose a candle to show my personality because looking up a candle, it was saying that the warmth of a candle offers a sense of support and love, while the light of a candle creates a feeling of optimism. So I think it describes me because I am warm and loving and I'm generally optimistic. Mm. And then I chose a purple candle because um, purple expresses royalty. I'm a Leo, mm -hmm. so I'm royalty. And then I'm God's child, so I'm royalty anyway. That's right. But um, the purple candle also has a spiritual edge, which promotes spiritual awareness, wisdom, and tranquility. Okay. And those who know me know I'm very in tune with the spirit realm. And I do um, tend to be calm for the most part. Like, mm -hmm. I don't pop off. My approach is generally calm and reserved and um, reasonable, I guess you'll say. So that's why I chose a uh, um, purple candle to reflect my personality, which is warm, supportive, optimistic, and spiritually in tune, I guess I'll say. And my favorite color. Yes, it is one of my favorite <laughs> colors, too. It is. It is. <laughs> and the last thing I have, um, I don't have it in here with me in We'll have to insert a picture. But the last thing I have is something interesting in my home. And this is mm -hmm. the one thing that I do, people do ask a lot about when they visit. And I'll insert the picture later. But um, above my stove, I have a pot filler. 
Mm-hmm. And those people who don't know what a pot filler is, it's like a, c- a connected arm above the stove. So you don't mm-hmm. have to go back and forth from the stove to the sink to get water. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, if you're baking, not baking, but if you're making greens or something that requires water, or if you um, filling up your tea kettle, you can do it on the stove instead of having to go back and forth to the sink to get water. So that's something that um, people do always ask me, what is that? What they do? And I don't use it. I've mm-hmm. used it once, but I do want one in my next home. It looks good. Is, I, it <laughs> does look good. I insert a picture. But um, also, I saw on um, I think it was that chick Angel's video. Mm-hmm. She has a instant hot water thing on her faucet, mm. and I was like, huh. I won't even need to be using no tea kettle if I have an instant hot water. Wow. In my faucet. I never heard of it. So it's a button? It's like, a, you know how some sinks have the dispenser for like the um soap? Yeah. It kind of looks like that, but it's water and it's instant okay. hot water. Oh, so as cool. I'm drinking my tea today, I had to warm this up in my tea kettle, but it's it's I had that's that rich people stuff. Hey, <laughs> I, I will be well. <laughs> That's interesting. So, friend, yeah. tell them where you got this from, the show and tell um, episode from. Well, I'll say it was loosely based off of um, Miss Kev on stage in her um, show Love on Stage, which is streamed on the... Um, Kev on Stage Studio app. So if you don't okay. have that app, I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all need to get it. I'm not going to sing the song but because I can't sing it like Angel. <laughs> but Kev on Stage, I love them. I love his platform. I love all he's doing for Black people, yeah. comedians, actors, everybody. Like, I watch that app almost every day. Mm-hmm. And so it's loosely based on um, her concept she used on the Love on Stage show where she was getting couples together and this was a way that they were able to get to know each other. So they both presented items that represented certain things. Okay. So that's where the show and tell came from. I was supposed to do the same ones that my friend did, but because I just, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm all over the place. I just got stuff from the house that were, that was just personal to me or close to my heart. So um, the first thing that I, found or got was my daughter's um birth certificate my firstborn because she's she has dual citizens dual citizenship Mm -hmm. she um it's actually called a consular report of birth abroad they don't call it birth certificate since she was born in germany so i got that in case some people don't know you know what that looks like um and it's different because i think how much our birth certificate is like 15 dollars i don't even know it's bad boy 50 dollars every time you lose it Oh wow. <laughs> so that was the first thing that I got. Um the next thing I found was all of my military stuff. My honorable discharge paperwork, my um DD214, and my completion of basic training. Because this is what started my life. You know, yeah. when, I, when I graduated, I went straight into the military. And then I had my firstborn. So those, you know, were very close to me. Um, okay. When I got out of the military, I actually was the first person to graduate in my actual family. So oh, I wow. Troy University. So this is definitely an accomplishment, you know, for me and, and very special to me and my family. Um, and last but not least was... Um, my check that I got back from Estro when I closed on my house. Yeah. My house on a home also in my um immediate family. So all of that was kind of special to me. And so those were my four things. That's funny because I never thought about that either. Um about being the first to do things. Yeah. I never even thought about that. I just be doing stuff. But yeah. yeah. Um yeah, I'm the yeah. only one out of my siblings <laughs> with a college education. I never even thought about that. Yeah. Hmm. And so it's kind of like That's an accomplishment. So now my sister, my um my middle, middle. sister, she owns a home. So I felt I felt like I was 
I broke like a generational curse, you know, and mm -hmm. was able to show them, hey, we can do this too. Don't don't let our, you know, what has happened to our family or what's happened in the past stop you from being able to do what you want to do. So I felt like I broke that, and it's like now my sisters are out there, they doing their thing, and I'm proud yeah. of it. Okay, so, just yeah. take one. Yeah, one to set the trajectory, and just I've been seeing the word pivot a lot. Okay. And I, it's, I think it's used, I don't know why, but I've been seeing it a lot. And I keep telling my husband I'm going to look it up, but I ain't looked it up yet. But I know it just means change. Terms. It just change up. It's military talk. Yeah, pivot. It's I like, know you that. Make a, that's like it's just a direction. Yeah, it's just changing the direction. Yeah. Change. And yeah. But for some reason, I see it every time I log into YouTube. I keep seeing the commercial of this new TV show called Pivoting. I was watching a sermon a couple of days ago and it was talking about pivot. That wasn't even a topic, but he led into talking. So I need to look into, let me write myself a note. Yeah. Cause it keep coming up. So it's some reason the Lord wants me to look into pivoting. Okay. Okay. I watched that show too, by the way. I think Which I'm on one? episode five. The one that, the only reason I hadn't been to watch it cause I had to keep leaving. I was so mad. That show you say you watched in one sitting, the eight episodes. Um. Stay oh, stop, so many. stop. Um, stay focused. Stop. They oh, the girl, the lady, um, Cassie. Yes, Cassie. I, watching it, it is so yes. good. That is good. What my friend talking about? They ain't they speaking in uh, from London and England. I'm like, oh, I can't get into this, baby. I love watching shows where it be those foreign shows, but it yeah. sound like they're speaking English, but they lips on keep keep yeah. up. I watch a lot of those. They're oh, good. It's so freaking good. Wait till you see the ending. I know. I'm already. Well, I ain't gonna tell nobody. But I'm already wondering what's going on from what her husband did. That daughter, I said, if she don't act like Booby, the old, the oldest daughter, yes. who be checking her and questioning yes. everything she do. Yes. <laughs> I said Girl. that's my child. <laughs> but, but I'm glad that daughter got a friend that know what to do. She stuck that thing okay. up in there. <laughs> 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 I said that. Is everybody need you hear me Ooh, gotta have somebody in your corner yes <laughs> even for the foolery yes <laughs> so but yeah uh, that's a good show i inserted too just in case anybody wondering what we're talking about it's on netflix it's mm -hmm. really 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 good so we're gonna also do a um another show and tell um with this we're approaching february which is the month of love month yes. of whatever you want to make it yeah. Um, and also your second anniversary. Yep. And then in celebration of all the newly engaged couples, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> but of course, I'm sure over the Christmas holiday, New Year's holiday, people have gotten engaged. And right. engagement leads to some type of wedding, whether it's going to be a big wedding like Marilyn had or a small wedding like I eloped, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Most brides have their something old, something mm -hmm. new, something borrowed, something blue. And then, you know, the thing they talk about the pin in the shoe. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do to help give y'all some ideas of some possible things you all could choose or use for your um, items. We're going to show you what we chose. Mm -hmm. So how you want to do it? You want to show all of yours or go one by one? Uh, we can go one by one. I'm going to insert pretty much all my stuff. Yeah, me too, because I only have one of my items. Okay. <laughs> so, let's start with the old. The okay. something my old. My something old is my earring. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you, friend. Chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? My something old was, thanks to you, we'll insert. <laughs> it was the shoes. See, she was a good bride. You know, some brides give you ugly dresses ugly shoes ugly jewelry she had us cute I, I, you it need to send me a picture girl. of your bridesmaids so we can insert the bridesmaids <laughs> but her bridesmaids was fine fine not just because i was one but they was fine fine <laughs> and so my something old that i used in my wedding was my shoes i love them they're I ain't gonna say they're comfortable but yeah. they don't hurt so bad that you gotta take them off right <laughs> They're tolerable. <laughs> and they're super cute. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that was my something old. Okay. So the next one is something new. So my something new was 
Um, my wedding dress. Oh, can y'all see that? <laughs> I think I got a smaller picture. Let me see. Yeah, and we'll okay. insert pictures. <laughs> oh, that's the picture I have of you on my phone. Huh? That's the picture I have saved on your my phone when you oh, call. So cute. <laughs> so that was my something new. What was yours, friend? I think it's a typical my dress. Yeah. Yes, it's up in the closet. I got it. Um, what they call it when they put it in the box? Rest I can't restored think of or like rest yes. Rest. Yeah. Um, whatever that thing is. Yeah. So preserve, preserve, preserve. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I have it in the box along with the bell, the veil, the jewelry. Everything is in the box. So if my stepdaughter want to wear it, if the Lord blesses me with a biological daughter, then it'll be in prime condition so they can wear it or take a <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or take a piece of it and you know make it into whatever they want it to be. That's so sweet. Yeah, see, I be always thinking about everybody but myself. That's so sweet, <laughs> but I think um, that's the typical bride. Something new is their right. dress, unless they do wear their um, relative dress, and then you know they maybe the veil will be the something new or something like that. Right. But um, we both chose um, our dresses for that one. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is the something borrowed. What was your something borrowed? So my something borrowed was Lorenzo's cousin very first um, Boulevard watch. And so it was so dainty and beautiful. So we'll, and we'll insert a picture because, you know, I like big, bold watches. And she was like, do you have a watch to wear? And I was like, no, not really. And she was like, you can wear mine. And I think she wore it at her wedding. And I just thought that was so oh. sad that she shared that with me. And it is beautiful. That's it sweet. is so beautiful. So... Yeah. What was yours? My something borrowed is twofold. Okay. Of course, you all know I um eloped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, is it eloped when you plan it? I don't know. It was just me, my husband, and of course, Marilyn. <laughs> yeah, I'm still eloping. Okay. So my something borrowed, my mom, because she wasn't going to be there, she gave me a necklace that was very... um symbolic of her and um just to represent her so a piece of her could be there mm -hmm. so i took the necklace and wrapped it around the bottom of my bouquet and the picture mm -hmm. i'm going to insert is going to actually have both of my borrowers in it and so the next bar is the headpiece i wore and it's so funny because looking at Marilyn's wedding picture and my wedding picture you can't tell it's the same one you can't but it is it's it so is <laughs> And when I tell you, I almost cried because it was a horror story with my hair. Girl. I mean, I, I'm not going to go into all of that, but just know I was not happy with my hair. Yeah. And if your hair ain't right after all I went through to learn how to do my makeup, right. and my hair wasn't going to be right. Right. So when she showed up in Tennessee with that hair piece, yes. I was just, I almost cried. Yeah. And it just... I don't know. It's just what I needed for my. Yeah. It just put brought everything together. So thank you, friend. You I'm welcome. sure I told you, but thank you, friend. You're welcome. Because it just was perfect. And then standing on that mountain, the sun was in my face, and you could just see it glistening yeah. off the jewels. Was top. Yeah. But I, I was just reliving the wedding, looking at things for this episode, yeah. and I'm like, oh my gosh, it seems like yesterday. Right. But yes, my something borrowed was my, um, it was a necklace that I wrapped around my um, bouquet mm -hmm. and my headpiece. Mm -hmm. So you can borrow anything and it can, yeah. um, you can ask a parent, you can ask anybody, a close friend, some maybe somebody who isn't going to be able to make it to the wedding or somebody who's in the wedding that you just want to have something extra. It can be anything you want it to be. Don't think too much of it because right. as you can see, it just plays out. Yep. You know, the day of, you may be, can't find your earrings. You may end up borrowing somebody earrings. <laughs> so just don't think too much into it because whatever mm -hmm. it is, it's going to work out. And at the end of the day, you get married. That's all that matters. That's right. Amen to that. Okay. And the last one is something blue. Okay. So my something blue was on the bottom of my shoe. Did that rhyme? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, we got married on 2 2 2020. So, my hashtag was um, two hearts, one locket. And um, we went with the 
Habakkuk <laughs> 2 and 2 and it says and the Lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tablets that he may run that readeth it mm -hmm. so um, on one of my shoes it was in blue writing and it had Habakkuk 2 2 2 2 20 20 2 hearts 1 lock and on the other shoe it was a letter from Lorenzo that said my Marabella I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you I love you love Lorenzo and it was in blue so mm -hmm. under my shoe thought of that it was the sweetest thing ever i don't think i ever would have even thought of that yeah. <laughs> that's sweet yeah. what was your blue friend my blue um if you all haven't picked up on it by now but it's my ring <laughs> oh it's so beautiful too y'all and uh oh there you go i'll insert the picture mm -hmm. but it's funny because and i only thought about this maybe last year or a couple months ago um, I found this ring. I can't remember if I had met Roy yet or not, mm -hmm. but I fell in love with the ring when I went to get this one clean. Mm -hmm. I went to the jewelry store. So, you know, when you get your jewelry cleaned or inspected for warranty, you just be looking around the store. Right. And so this particular ring caught my eye and the lady was like, go on, get it. And I was like, no, I want that for an engagement ring. And she was like, well, it can be just an everyday ring and then when you get married or whatever you can have him buy you something else i was like no i want that he bought this one that right. one <laughs> and the irony of it all is roy and i met in february of 2019 mm -hmm. but we became officially exclusive in march of mm -hmm. 2019 mm -hmm. and the birthstone of march is aquamarine that's right I didn't even realize that when I fell in love with the ring. Aww. And I'm not gonna even go deep into where the aquamarine resembles yeah. or symbolizes. So I'll let y'all Google that. Yeah. But I'm like, oh my gosh. Aww. Like, I could not have written that, no pun intended. Right. Couldn't have written that any better. <laughs> well, I got blue too, friend. Remember this? Oh! Let me tell you the story behind that. <laughs> okay, our wedding colors, I inserted, was the colors that you're going to see on the picture because I can't remember them all. But when I got my bouquet and my husband's boutonniere, um, they didn't have anything else. It was just a bouquet and boutonniere as your options. Well, a is clashing on my shirt. I, I, <laughs> Marilyn came along with us for several reasons. Um, she's the only one who knew how to operate my dress. <laughs> and I needed somebody to zip me up. <laughs> right, right. Then, because Marilyn had been to all of my dress fittings, all my right. appointments, she's the only one who knew how to work this dress. I, and I was not gonna have no random stranger at the um, venue zipping me up and tearing my dress up. All right. So uh, when my friend said she could come along, I surprised her with the corsage but what she didn't know was i had to reach out to the company and ask them to make it mm -hmm. because it was not an option yeah. wow. <laughs> so they, um, my dress you guys matched the corsage and i had no yeah. idea that's how i know god be in this thing he mm -hmm. does oh yeah. i got just got a chill girl he do. He really does. And yeah. you know, it everything just turned out so beautifully. And yeah. um I couldn't have asked for anything better. It was a beautiful day. Um everything just turned out perfectly. Mm -hmm. And um yeah, I'm getting tear eyed. Oh it was really, really nice because it's funny. Yeah, I go going off topic. <laughs> But it's funny because y'all know I got married on 10 mm -hmm. And that ironically is two weeks after my dad's birthday. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, he didn't go. Me and him got into it. He was like, you ain't getting married out me. Uh, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. This is what I want. This is what's going to happen. Right. Little did I know he was going to pass away three months later. Mm -hmm. Almost to the date. So on December 21st, 2020 he was in the hospital um on the ventilator of course um battling for his life but i had a dream mm -hmm. and in that dream i got to dance with him at my wedding oh my god and so when people ask me if i have regrets for him not being there 
No, because I was able to experience, because the plan was to have a, um, a reception later. That way the families could get together and meet. Right. But when they asked me if I had regrets, I say I don't because I got to dance for my father in my dream. Right. And so that's all I needed. Mm -hmm. That's all I needed. I never even really wanted that. Mm -hmm. But in that moment, in that dream, I needed it. And mm -hmm. I think that gave me so much safety and security knowing that even though he may not be with me much longer, mm -hmm. he's always with me. And unfortunately, he passed away on January 23rd, which is why I'm so in my feelings because, I mean, this video is going to be uploaded on January 24th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so today's the 20th and I'm just all in my feelings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got to dance with my father, so I don't have any regrets. I had a beautiful day. I got to spend it, you know, with my husband. My friend showed up for me and it's nothing more I can ask for. Right. Nothing at all. It was it was perfect. It was, it was perfect. It was beautiful. Sorry, y'all. I'm just emotional because it's Girl, just too please. close to his passing. I'm just trying to get through it. <laughs> you good? Yeah. So, well, I guess that's our something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Yeah, and us penny in your shoe. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, just a little um show and tell that we wanted to share some things um with you all to let you learn a little bit more about us. Mm -hmm. Um and just, you know, to prepare you for what may be to come because we have right. a lot of in interesting episodes coming. Mm -hmm. Um stay tuned because you never know who may show up. I know, right? The love month is coming up. The love month. Yes. <laughs> you know we love love so who knows where this may go exactly. so mama i'm giving you your warning now <laughs> mama mama minnie mama cheryl all y'all right. right watch at your own risk <laughs> <laughs> this I'm time gonna, try to get lorenzo to come on for february since that's our anniversary man ain't no promises though child i'ma try <laughs> okay hey <laughs> I ain't mad at you. But we do have a lot in store for you all. We're trying to be consistent. So yeah. um, we appreciate you all for watching and tuning in with us. Those of you who are a little behind, don't worry. They're going to be out here forever. So you can catch up at any time. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. <laughs> But we are having fun and we just, you know, appreciate you all for having fun with us, watching, sharing, subscribing, liking, all that good stuff. Uh -huh. Bring a friend, join in. We're going to try to do more lives. We're going to, you know, bring y'all in as much as you want um, mm -hmm. because that's what we're here for and we ain't doing right. anything. We're going to try to have more guests on too, y'all. So, so if you want to be one, email us yes, or hit us in the um, DMs. We can talk about it. Only business related. Stat right. our DMs if you're fishing. <laughs> we don't play by marriage. Ooh, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> but yes, um, if you want to come on, let us know. Um, if you have a certain topic, let us know or whatever. Right. We can do it all. That's what we're here for. Um, so you let us know what you think yeah. and what you did for your something old, something new, borrowed and blue, mm -hmm. or just anything you want to show and tell us. Right. Make a video, Instagram, and tag us in it. Yep. You may show up in a video later. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little shout out, a little spotlight. How to get stuff. Comment, share, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> we love y'all. <laughs> we love you guys. She's Marilyn. Be so wonderful. <laughs>